In this video, I will be starting a brand new series where I take a look at figures from the Switch and Go Dinos toy line. Just a little background here, the Switch and Go Dinos toy line consists of transforming dinosaurs, which is a nice homage to the Dinobots from the Transformers universe. Get it? Because they're both dinosaurs, but there are a few differences between them. The Switch and Go Dinos transform from dinosaurs into different vehicles, but the Dinobots transform from robots into dinosaurs. See. There are a few differences between them. But those are the best kind of homages, the ones that have more differences than similarities, because they're more surprising of homages when you find out what the homages are. Get it? Do you smell what I'm cooking? Let me know in the comment section below if you agree with what I'm saying. But with all things considered, these figures are definitely considered Transformers in my book, and therefore, they are definitely welcome on my channel. So let's start off this series by taking a look at the Stegosaurus member of the Switch and Go Dinos crew, Ton the Stegosaurus. Let's begin. Hello everyone, Raccoon Formers here, and today I will be taking a look at the Switch and Go Dinos, Ton the Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus member of the Switch and Go Dinos crew. And believe me, this figure is a phenomenal one. Let's take a look at some of his details. As you see, he transforms into some sort of sports car, which looks extremely nice in my opinion. He's decked out mostly in yellow with a little bit of silver. He has these awesome looking headlights right up here that are decked out in silver, and he has this grill that's decked out in gray. Listen to that sound. Isn't that such a satisfying sound? <laughs> yeah. Nice looking wheels, decked out in silver and black, silver rims, black tires, snazzy. And I love the back wheels. They're sort of hidden. That looks awesome. Awesome. He has the Switch and Go Dinos logo right here. Looking nice. Come around to the back and he has this thing that looks a lot like a trailer hitch. It's obviously not, it's probably just a hook, a random hook or something, but it looks a lot like a trailer hitch. You could have a lot of fun with that. If you have a toy tow truck with a hook, you could pretend like you're towing Ton away or something. I don't want to be towed, I don't want to be towed, I don't want to be towed. <laughs> and he has these awesome looking backlights too, and they look super realistic I might add. But unfortunately, they're stickers, not paint. Why do they always do that? Paint is obviously better than stickers, but, oh well. And this shape right up here on the hood seems to be an homage to VTech, the creator of the Switch and Go Dinos. Cause look, the purple shape here is in the shape of a V. It's not the same color as the V in VTech, but hey, you can't please everybody, you know? And he has this awesome looking gun shaped thing on the top of the car, which is obviously the Stegosaurus plates for the Stegosaurus mode. But hey, looks like a gun. It really does. Like this bit right here, totally looks like a gun. They put so much phenomenal sculpt work into that. And right up here, you have his name, Ton, and a little Stegosaurus logo. All of the Switch and Go Dinos have that somewhere on them. They have a little sign that shows their name and a little logo of whatever dinosaur the figure is based off of, which is cool. And they also added um, some cool Stegosaurus scratches right here. Or maybe not Stegosaurus scratches. They could be just dino scratches. But hey, it looks awesome. Awesome. And he rolls like rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. But as you can probably hear, the wheels sound extremely squeaky. It's not that big a deal. And it's pretty understandable because this figure is old. I've had this figure for quite some time. So it's understandable if the wheels are squeaky. But make sure to be careful with your copy because the wheels might become squeaky if you're not careful. But it's not that big a deal. I'm Ton rolling through the streets. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. There are a few unfortunate flaws about this figure, but not that many. One of them is the fact that the backlights are made out of stickers and not paint. But that's not that big a deal. It is unfortunate, but it's not that big a deal. Another thing I don't like is the fact that the dino feet are visible or exposed on either side of the vehicle. I don't like that either. And this backpack section does not like to stay tabbed in all that well. In fact, it tabs in so loosely that when you hold the figure upside down, look, 
the backpack section detaches like that. And it sometimes gets jammed when you try to put it back in. I'm just not a fan of that. It could have been done better. Yeah, those issues are unfortunate, but they're not that big a deal. And what I'm about to show you next is totally gonna make up for all those issues. The Switch and Go dinos aren't your ordinary transformers. They're actually electronic. By the flick of a switch, they'll come to life. But before I show you that, I want to explain to you what each button does. I know, I know, you probably don't want me to explain what each button does. You probably just want to see the figure come to life. But explaining to you what each button does will help you understand how the figure works so you don't accidentally break the figure. Because you don't want to break the figure. Who would want that, right? So, no complaining. Ah, just kidding. Feel free to skip past this part if you don't want to watch it and you just want to see the figure come to life. There are a few different buttons in different locations on the figure. Two on the hood and two on the roof. The ones on the hood are yellow, just like the rest of the figure, and the ones on the roof are blue. Feel free to jot that down in your notebook or something as a memory jogger. Go ahead. I'll wait. <laughs> you know what each button looks like and where it is? Now I'm going to explain to you what each button does. This button right here is the volume control, and this button right here is the button that you push to change the animated driver in car mode or the animated dino eyes in dino mode. And this button right up here is the sound effects button. In car mode, he'll make car noises when you push this button. And in dino mode, he'll make dino noises when you push the button. Or more specifically, dino roars. So yeah, interesting, right? And this button right here is where the coolness all comes together. This button is the phrase button. In car mode, when you push this button, he'll talk to you about car sort of things, like loving the open road or something like that. But in dino mode, he does a few things in dino mode, actually. He'll either say normal phrases in dino mode, or he'll tell you facts about whatever figure, or about whatever dinosaur the figure is based off of. So this figure right here is a stegosaurus. So this figure will tell you facts about a stegosaurus. How cool is that? That, it's like school and a toy. And it's a Transformers toy, which makes me love it even more. Awesome, right? But I know I'm probably boring you with all this talk on how the figure works. So now I will finally show you what the figure sounds like when he talks. Prepare to be amazed. Alrighty, people, let's turn this figure on. To do that, you can simply flip the figure over. And as you can see, there is a switch right next to the battery case. Let's Flick the switch, and as you can see, the figure turns on. And I, there's one flaw with this figure. You can't actually mute it, which is going to be hard to talk if he keeps interrupting you, you know. But I'll try. Look at that. Look at that driver. Look at that. It's so detailed. I wonder how much engineering was put into this. Let's take a look at the different drivers. He comes with three. Hey. Stop interrupting me. <laughs> There's this one. This one. And this one. This one seems to be wearing something that's slightly homage to Dr. Morocco from Transformers Rescue Box. At least, I think. This one seems to be wearing a scupa mask. And this one? Maybe he's wearing those glasses that you get after, you, after someone dilates your pupils. <laughs> Who knows? Now let's turn that down a little bit. No, not up, down. Let's listen to some of his phrases. I forgot to mention, the figure might make car noises or dino noises before a phrase is said. But not always. See? Not always. How sweet. How sweet. And let's listen to some car sounds. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, let's get back on track. And what's really cool is when you roll the figure on the floor, he actually makes car noises. And dino noises, or dino stomps, when he's in dino mode. How awesome is that? <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. This is awesome. This is awesome. And you don't need to push the phrase button to have him make phrases if you want. 
he makes phrases on his own every now and then, which is extremely frustrating, which makes it even more frustrating on how I can't mute it. That's not frustrating. It's fine if he makes phrases on his own, but I just don't like how I'm unable to mute it because it's make it's it's harder to talk with him interrupting me, you know? <laughs> yeah. Do me a favor and let me know in the comment section below which driver you like best. Label them as A, B, or C. A, B, or C. Let me know which driver you like best down below in the comments. According to Amazon, Ton takes two AAA batteries, and unlike most things that require batteries, the batteries actually come included with the figure. How awesome is that? And all of that is the same for Tidon the Pteranodon, who is also pictured here. And I will be reviewing him eventually, so make sure to stay tuned. But don't you think it would be annoying if the figure runs out of batteries unexpectedly? Trust me, it is. But VTech put a feature in this figure that fixes that exact problem. If you leave Ton or any of the Switch and Go Dino figures on for too long, it automatically shuts itself off. It's like a built-in battery saver. It's like the figure thinks... Hey, I've been on for too long. I better shut myself off so I don't run out of juice. It's genius. Pure genius. I, it's a genius idea and is super helpful for me. Because I might be distracted with something else and I might accidentally leave one of the Switch and Go Dino figures on. And that's a real money saver too. Because so, I won't have to buy extra batteries because... It will automatically shut itself off to save battery. I just love that. And if that happens, here's how you can turn Ton back on. You can just push any of the buttons. And he comes back to life. Start your engine. Come on, let's roll. Welcome back, Ton. Here's something that's really cool about the Switch and Go Dino figures being able to talk. Each figure technically has its own personality. How cool is that? But I'm not going to talk about the personality for each figure in today's video. Where's the fun in that? I'll talk about the personality for whatever figure I am reviewing. And today, I am reviewing Ton. So let's go ahead and find his personality, shall we? <laughs> personality, shall we? That rhymes. <laughs> so let's go ahead and find out what it is. Flip him over, and we can flick the switch, and he comes alive. Sup, Ton? I'm Raccoon Formers. You probably already know that. <laughs> Guys, what do you think his personality is? My idea is maybe it's a surfer dude, or someone who lives in Hawaii, or someone who likes the beach. You know, you know how surfer dudes talk. You know, but that's just my personal opinion. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any ideas on what Ton's personality is. I would greatly appreciate knowing that. But I, for one, want to know, how does VTech obtain the voices for the Switch and Go Dino toys? Is it a computerized voice, or does a voice actor actually supply the voices for the Switch and Go Dino toys? If that's the case, that seems like an awesome job. But let me know in the comment section below if you know how VTech obtains the voices for the toys. I would greatly appreciate knowing that. No, Tom, we're not going to rock and roll. It's time for your transformation. I'm going to leave the figure on while I transform him because he makes a super cool transformation sound. And I really want to show you that. So let's begin. Let's turn him down so he doesn't interrupt me. So yeah, here's what you do first. You can come down here to the front bumper. And you can detach it, revealing the dino jaw, as you can probably see. And you can fold the entire assembly around. And then you can flip this section around, revealing the dino legs. Hey, stop interrupting me. Then you can fold this section up, which will lift that up. Then you can click the bumper right into place. And that's the cool transformation sound. He makes that sound whenever you click this bumper into place. And that signals that he's a dino. And, you know, all the dino features activate. And, sup, Tom? I'm Raccoon Foamers. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, you can come here to the gun section for the car mode. And you can unfold this section, revealing the dino tail. And you can come up here to these sections, fold them up, revealing the Stegosaurus plates. Let's have fun. Stop interrupting me. <laughs> then you can fold out these yellow sections, creating more Stegosaurus plates. Come on, you. And here we have Tan in his Stegosaurus mode.
That transformation was definitely simplistic, and the dinosaur mode we end up with is absolutely gorgeous. And first off, I have to turn off Tan right now, because like I said before, there's no way to mute the figure, and he constantly keeps interrupting me, and I want to talk about his details without getting interrupted. But after that, I'll turn Tom back on so we can hear his dino mode phrases. So don't fret. The sound effects are not over yet. But do you all notice how the screen looks a little bit cleaner than before? That's because it is. Before, there was a little bit of smudge on it, so I cleaned it up before I made this part of the review. But there was actually a scene in this video before this one where the screen was clean. Let me know in the comment section below if you can find that scene, and link the timestamp to that scene down below in the comments as well. I would greatly appreciate that. But anyways, we're getting off topic. Let's take a look at Tan's details. There's not that many to talk about because most of it is car kibble. There's a little bit, like this. Look at those dino jaws. Look at them. They're so detailed. They're not sharp though, because obviously that would be dangerous, you know? <laughs> yeah. The bottom jaw is decked out in gray, and the top part of the jaw is decked out in yellow. And look. Open close, open close, open close. Nom, nom, nom. I'm hungry. Hey, you're a herbivore. Stop eating us humans. <laughs> and there's his voice box right down there. I guess he's not Bumblebee. He does have a voice box, unlike Bumblebee. <laughs> yeah, and the Stegosaurus plates here look awesome as well. But I'm trying to decide which way looks cooler. With these plates in or with them out? The normal way to transform them is to fold the plates out, but I somewhat, I somewhat like them better in. Let me know in the comment section below which way you like better. And the tail looks phenomenal as well. And it can go up, down, all around. Actually, it can't go all around. I was just trying to ride. <laughs> yeah. And he actually rolls, or he walks on wheels. See, the hidden wheels are close enough to the ground that they roll. And there's also some little wheels on the back feet. So, yeah. Beautiful people, I have some figures right next to me that I want to compare with good old Tan here. So let's do that. Let's compare the Switch and Go Dinos Tan with a few Studio Series figures. How about that? So let's turn Tan so he's facing us. Hi, Tom. And here we have Tan next to Studio Series 72, Bumblebee Movie Starscream. Stay tuned, because a review on him is coming soon. Look pretty cool, right? Here we have Tan next to Studio Series Dino. A review on him is also coming soon, so make sure to stay tuned. And here we have Tan next to Studio Series B127. Hey look, they're both yellow. Look pretty cool, right? And again, a review on B127 is also coming soon, so make sure to stay tuned for those three reviews. And finally, here we have Tan next to Studio Series 8605 Voyager Class Scourge. Oh, the missile port came off again. Let's just get rid of that. Look pretty cool, right? I know they're in different continuities and not like Tan isn't technically a Transformer at all, but they still look nice together. They really do. Let's do some dinosaur related comparisons. I know what you're thinking. Is there a Stegosaurus Dinobot in the Transformers universe? The answer is yes, there is. Snarl. I do not have any Snarl toys, but I'll do a virtual comparison. Two of them, because there are two versions of Snarl. Here is a virtual comparison of Tom and Snarl from RescueBots Academy. See? And here is a virtual comparison of Tom and Snarl from G1. Look pretty nice, right? But I actually do have some Dinobot toys. I'll be right back, though, because I need a larger camera for them, because they're large. That's better. Now that we're in a larger setup, let's get on with the large comparisons that I have. Like I said before, I have more Dinobots that I want to compare with Tan here. And here they are. Here we have Tan next to Studio Series 8606 Grimlock. Look pretty awesome, right? And there's Wheelie too. Hello! <laughs> yeah. And here we have Tan next to... Studio Series 07, Grimlock, aka Grimlock from Age of Extinction. Look pretty nice, right? As long as we're in the dinosaur mood, 
How about another dinosaur comparison? I don't have any more dinosaur transformers to compare Ton with, but here's what I'm planning. And I, for one, am really proud of this idea. Here we have Ton next to Rex the Dinosaur from Toy Story 4. Look nice together, right? Because they are both dinosaurs. I know they're completely different toys, but they're both dinosaurs. So it's only fair if I compare the two of them. And let me know in the comment section below if you liked that idea, because that was one of my best ideas yet. Beautiful people, I actually have one more comparison for all of you. Is that all right? Okay. Here is Tan next to a Stegosaurus toy that I own. Stegosaurus? Stegosaurus. Same animal. Look nice together, right? And guys, let me know in the comment section below if you can think of any names for this guy here. Steggy, Mr. Asaurus, let me know down below. I would greatly appreciate knowing that. And this guy would too. Think of a name for me. I don't want to be known as nameless. <laughs> don't worry, nameless. You won't be named that for long. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you have any name ideas down below in the comments. Alrighty, people. Let's turn Ton on to see what he sounds like. I don't need to explain how he works, because I already explained what each button does when he was in car mode. So we can just skip right to turning him on. Flip him over, and flick the switch. Alright. Guys, you want to chill? No? Alright. Well, hey there, Ton. We'll start with his dino eyes. Check those out. Okay, thank you. And stop interrupting me, Ton! <laughs> Check out those dino eyes. He comes with three dino eyes, just like how he comes with three animated drivers. This one, this one, and this one. Those look creepy. And you know how when he's in car mode, he says, pick a driver? He doesn't say, pick my eyes. So that's funny. It, it's strange. And let's go back to these eyes. I don't like those ones. And yeah, let's listen to some of his different roars. I think that's my favorite kind of roar. It sounds the coolest. There. Now let's listen to some of his phrases. And he sometimes roars before a phrase is said, but not always. Man, I like that roar. See? Khan tells you facts about a stegosaurus. I just love that. Stay tuned for the end of the video, because I'm going to do a little bit of a class with Tan to teach you facts about a stegosaurus. But let's just listen to a few more. The name stegosaurus means roof lizard. <laughs> that is so cool. Hmm. I go everywhere with my stegosaurus paws. We live in groups called herds. And when he's in car mode, sometimes he makes noises before a phrase is said, but sometimes a phrase is just said. But apparently, a roar always happens before a phrase is said for Tan when he's in dino mode. But no biggie. And let me know in the comment section below if you like these plates out or in. And look, when I roll him along the floor, he stops. I just love that. It's just so genius. I just love it. Uh, love it. Remember how I said earlier in the video how Tan has the ability to say phrases on his own without pushing the phrase button? That's the same case for dino mode. But he normally says normal phrases on his own. He doesn't tell you dino facts on his own. You have to push the button to, for him to tell you dino facts. But I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below if you know. Let me know in the comment section below which dino eyes you like best. Label your answer as A, B, or C. A? B or C. Let me know which one you like best down below in the comments. But I know that this one is my least favorite. This one is my least favorite, and I think this one is my most favorite. It looks the cutest. But I guess dinosaurs aren't meant to be cute, but still. This, these eyes are my favorite. But again, let me know in the comment section below which eyes you like the best. Yeah, Tom, we'll have fun by transforming you back to car mode. How about that, people? So let's start. First, you can take the two yellow plates, fold them up, and then 
you can fold the two large plates down like this, and then you can fold the tail up and around. And there you have the car gun thingamajigger. Then you can come back to the dino legs, fold them up, detach it, and it will activate the transformation sound, changing the setting back to car mode. See, there's the driver. Then you can fold this section around, click it into place, hiding the dino jaw, and then you can make sure that everything is neat. And here we have Tom in his car mode. Some final thoughts on the figure. It's a phenomenal figure. There are things I like about it, and there are things that I do not like about it. I love all the phrases that this figure is able to say, and I love the color, and the car mode, and the dino mode. All of that is phenomenal. The only thing I don't really like is the fact that I'm unable to actually mute the figure. If they could have put that in, if they were gonna put in a volume control, they should have at least made it possible to actually mute the figure. That does make it a million times harder to actually review this figure. So make sure to be alert of that if you're planning on reviewing this figure. But the good news is not all of the Switch and Go Dino figures are unable to be muted. Some of them are actually able to be muted. So that is extremely nice and that is a, definitely a plus for me. But I, for one, am looking forward to reviewing more of the Switch and Go Dino figures. I never realized how cool they actually are. But unfortunately, there are a few conditions with reviewing most of them. One of the conditions is some of them are way, way too large to fit in the current setup that I have. And those ones include Brock the Brontosaurus, Span the Spinosaurus, Attila the Ankylosaurus, and Jagger the T-Rex. Those four Switch and Go Dino figures are way too large to fit in my current setup. But can you help me with this? Let me know in the comment section below if you have any ideas on how to improve my setup to fit the Switch and Go Dinos that I just mentioned. That's not the only condition. The other condition is I don't have that many of the Switch and Go Dino figures. I got all of the Switch and Go Dino figures that I had a long time ago. And I haven't played with them in a very long time. I sort of lost interest in them when the Studio Series line came out. Because obviously the Studio Series are a lot cooler than the Switch and Go Dinos. Not to say that the Switch and Go Dinos aren't cool. I'm just saying that the Studio Series figures are a lot cooler. So yeah. The Switch and Go Dino figures that I have include Ton, the Stegosaurus, who's right here. Horns, the Triceratops. MC Roar, the Giganotosaurus. Sky Slicer, the Allosaurus. Blister, the Velociraptor, Brock, the Brontosaurus, and Jagger, the T-Rex. Make sure to stay tuned, because a review on those figures will be coming soon. Except for Brock and Jagger. That is, unless I can find a larger setup. Again, let me know in the comment section below if you have any ideas of a larger setup. Well, friends, this pretty much wraps up this video review. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to click that big red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a future video. I, for one, really hope you enjoyed this video, because I sure did. I had a good time reviewing this figure. Besides the many interruptions that Tan caused me, this figure is awesome, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you pick this figure up, because it is awesome. Just be alert when you review it. He, has, he might interrupt you a few times, like he did for me. And make sure to stay tuned for future reviews on the Switch and Go Dino figures, because I had a blast reviewing this figure. I really did and I am looking forward to reviewing more. But that will have to wait until another review. For now, I just want to say that I am Raccoon Formers, and I will catch you next time. Peace. Before me and Tan start our class on Stegosaurus facts, there are a few more things I need to talk to you about. When you turn Tan off, He'll say goodbye to you. That's not something that all of the Switch and Go dinos do, but some of them do, including Tom. Let me show you what I mean. Let me just turn them on. Start your engine. Come on, let's roll. And we can turn them off. Later. See, he says later. It's awesome, and it's polite too. And remember how I talked about him turning himself off if you leave the batteries on too long? He'll say goodbye to you that exact way. He'll say, later. <laughs> That's the same situation for when Tan is in dino mode. When you, if you turn him off in dino mode, 
He'll say, later, just like how he does when he's in karma, but a little bit different. He'll roar before he says later. Let me show you what I mean. Flip him over and shut him up. Later. See, he says later, just like how he does in car mode, but he roars. So it's a nice feature. It really is. It really is. Here's something that's super cool about Tom's LCD screen. The animated driver and the animated dynawise, they're not stuck in one pose. They move around and they technically like interact with you. It's hard to explain. It's easier if I just show you. So here we have Tan in his stegosaurus mode. So now I will show you how his LCD eyes work. Let's get a closer look here. Check out those eyes. Check them out. Look, they're moving around. They're not stuck in one position. It's like he's interacting with you. I love that. Look, I just saw him blink. I love how they didn't put the eyes in just one position. That would have been like super boring, you know? Let me know in the comment section below if you agree. But that's not all. Look what happens when I turn them off. Later. Look, his eyes close right before the screen turns off. See, it's like he's going to sleep or something. I just love how they were able to do that. I just love it. I love it. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree. And here we have Tan back in his car mode. And now I will show you how the LCD screen works for car mode. Because there's more than just the driver. I have way more than just that to show you for the LCD screen for car mode. So let's go ahead and turn the figure on, shall we? Let's flip him over and flip the switch. Sup, Tan? How's it hanging, my dude? High 10. <laughs> yeah. First up, look what happens when I roam along the floor. Speed lines appear behind the driver, and it looks like the driver is actually turning the steering wheel. And for some reason, it looks like the driver has alien antennas on his head. Maybe the driver is an alien. Ooh, scary. Ooh. Look, a pedometer appears. At least I think that's what it's called. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what it's called. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna reset the figure so it doesn't turn off on me. Give me a sec. Sup, Tan? But no need to go through that. We have things to do. And like I said before, the driver interacts with you and acts like how a normal driver would. So let's see. What is this driver gonna do for us today? Nobody cares, Tan. Oh, look. Did you see his glasses just shown? Now he's reaching up into his glasses compartment. Now he's looking both ways. Turn my wheel. Hm, I think that's it. But I am just so glad how they animated the driver. It would have been like super boring if the driver just sat in one position. Wouldn't you agree? So I am a huge fan on how they animated the driver. I just love it. And I love the speed lines and the pedometer too. Again, let me know in the comment section below if that thing is called a pedometer, or if I was wrong. So yeah, I'm Todd, I'm rolling through the streets. Three, two, one. Start your engines. Meow, meow. Steggy comes into the line of fire, but Todd stops before he hits him, because he doesn't want to kill Mr. Steggy, because he's a stegosaurus just like him. Yeah. Yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you can think of any names for me. Yeah, listen to Steggy. Or whatever you call him. But yeah, I love the animated sound of this figure. There's one thing about the LCD screen for dino mode that the car mode doesn't have. And there's one thing about the LCD screen for the car mode that the dino mode doesn't have. You know how when I drive Tan along the floor in car mode, speed lines appear? That doesn't happen for dino mode. I would have thought that if you roll Tan along the floor in dino mode, like, stomp lines might appear on his LCD screen. Like, that proves that he's super heavy and he's making the earth shake. That would have been really cool to see. That's the cool thing that the car mode LCD screen has that the dino mode screen doesn't. Let me give you a little bit of a demonstration on how stomp lines don't appear. Look, I drive them along. Look, you hear stomps, but look, nothing appears on the LCD screen. That's sad. 
it would have been really cool if stomp lines appeared on the LCD screen because it would prove that Tom is extremely large and he's making the earth shake. That would have been really cool to see, but hey, not that big a deal. You know how when I turn Tan off in dino mode, his eyes close like he's getting ready for a long winter's nap or something? That does not happen when I turn him off in car mode. It would have been really cool if like the driver gets ready to go to sleep or something, or he gets ready to get out of his car to go in to eat dinner or something. But no, let me show you what I mean. See, he just says later and the screen turns off. That's, that's sad. It's not that big a deal, it just is sad. It could have been done a lot better in that matter, but the figure is cool. There's only one more thing I need to talk to you about before I can start my class. I decided what my favorite dino eyes were, but I never decided what my favorite driver was. So I'll decide that right now. I think this one might be my favorite driver because it's simply the coolest. It looks the coolest in my opinion. And I think this one is my least favorite because I don't really like his eyepiece, but that's just my personal opinion. But did you notice when I talked about the LCD driver and DynaWise earlier in the video, I talked about that while showing my favorite DynaWise and driver. I used my favorite DynaWise and driver as the example eyes and driver for when I talked about that. Feel free to go back and watch that part of the video and let me know if you noticed it down below in the comments. Hi. Hi, Tan. How are you? I know, I know, you're probably sick of me talking about all this stuff that I should have talked about earlier in the video, but don't worry, it's done now. It's time for my class on Stegosauruses. Take it away, Tan. Attention, new recruits. I'm Tan, head of this school. Class is now in session. I'm covered from head to tail in triangle-shaped plates. Let's get some grub. I'm a herbivore, so I eat plants. I go everywhere with my stegosaurus buds. We live in groups called herds. I'm a quadruped. I walk on four legs. And I walk slow. The name stegosaurus means roof lizard. What you think, class? Want those interesting facts about a stegosaurus? Did you know those facts before watching this video? Let me know in the comment section below if you did or not. If you didn't know those facts before watching this video, congratulations. You learned something while watching a raccoon farmer's video. Tell your parents. Also, I did not show you all of the stegosaurus facts that Tan has the ability to say. He has a lot more dino information in him, but if I showed you every last fact that he has the ability to say, We'd be here all day, and I don't think you want that, do you? So I have a little bit of a challenge for all of you. If you purchase Tan, let me know in the comment section below if you can name any other Stegosaurus facts that he has the ability to say that I did not mention in this video. I would greatly appreciate that. Class dismissed.